Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel, and I have some breaking news for you guys. Here on Twitter, this happened about an hour and a half ago is when I first started seeing it and then started looking up information for you guys and so forth. So we have here from the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine. Putin has launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Peaceful Ukrainian cities are under strikes. This is a war of aggression. Ukraine will defend itself and will win. The world can and must stop Putin. The time to act is now. And then from President Joe Biden, just to, uh, you know, confirm that this is actually happening. This isn't just uh, Russia engaged in uh, a little bit of a dust up with uh, locals there. He has apparently conducted operations. Russia alone is responsible for the death and destruction this attack will bring. And the United States and its allies and partners will respond in a united and decisive way. The world will hold Russia accountable. Now. I don't entirely know what sort of an effect this is going to have because in Crimea, it wasn't much uh, of a dust up. There wasn't a lot of activity going on. Uh, the, I, to my knowledge, there was no particular loss of life. Pretty much Russia just walked in straight into Crimea. There was an election held and apparently during the election, they just said, no, we really want them here. Uh, I have Disclosed TV here, which is just a, a, a loop of uh, the air sirens that are going off in Kiev, Ukraine. It is... Uh, six i think six or seven in the morning there in kiev i was kind of looking over here on bbc world news to see a current time i think they are six hours ahead it is the east coast here it is 12 23 a.m here in atlanta georgia so i'm going to assume that it's going to be 6 23 there i think they are six hours ahead and uh, as we jump over here Zelensky says okay i didn't get to read that part putin announces military operation in ukraine as we see here in their chiron we'll just give it a minute here and see what additional information they may say in this in this particular chiron okay they're kind of just letting it sit there so we'll go over here to sky news pot uh, Putin launches military operations in Ukraine uh, looks like it's kind of an overcast hazy day this isn't probably uh, indicative of any type of missiles or, or explosions or activity it just looks like it's a uh, just a regular overcast day there we're gonna just uh, we'll get to that in a moment what I want to do is see uh, here's Zelensky here Ukraine Russians back separatists launch strikes against Ukrainian forces uh, so we'll just kind of see what more he may have to say here Ukraine crisis President uh, Vladimir Zelensky urges Ukrainians not to panic vows victory so Right now, uh, we're n I don't really know the extent of these operations. I don't know if he's flying sorties, if he's, you know, what, what a actual actions are taking place. Typically, what happens is the military will just go in and the cities will respond in a particular way. Uh, maybe they'll try to negotiate with uh, the people coming in. It's very difficult to say what could be happening. Vladimir Putin vows retaliations against those who, okay, miss that. Joe Biden condemns unprovoked and unjustified attack by Russians against Ukraine. So we're just going to jump over here. Zelensky makes emotional plea to Russia. So as I understand it, when I saw uh, Chiron earlier, Zinkley says Putin refuses his call. So um, Putin is not answering any of Zelensky's phone calls. And uh, yes, I'm having to flip back and forth here to keep uh, any of this content from getting a copyright strike. Of course, I don't mind, uh, you know, taking it off monetization, of course, for... Uh, the purposes of of doing this video because this is breaking news and then um <coughs> excuse me guys let's just pop this open real quick and see from wion see reports explosions heard in that particular city maria pool i guess it's called explosions also let's see hang on we got a breaking news here reporting explosions sirens heard in center of kiev okay so we have some kind of activity there in the background in this particular video I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, I can't turn the sound on. I guess I can for a second or two. Woke up today to the sounds of explosions and the fighter jets flying over Kyiv, the city of 4.5 million people. All right, so, wow, they got the fighters uh, actually doing strikes because we were just talking about sorties and whether they would have sorties uh, going on there, but apparently uh, they are. Well, I mean, just like I said a moment ago, it's full on. Uh, you know, I am kind of a little on the tired side, so hopefully uh, I can get uh, some level of uh, coherence here. But let's see what we can read here 
Uh, Putin declares war. Putin declares special military operations in Ukraine as explosions heard in Kiev, sparking World War III fears. Okay, I think that's a bit hyperbolic. We probably don't need that level of uh, of uh, information to be putting out there. But Russia unleashes a salvo of missiles on Ukraine this morning as Putin forces launch a long-awaited invasion of the country. So as we can see here, a few images. We got Joe Biden. And uh, let's see what some of these live uh, coverages are saying and doing now. So I don't see any activity here. That, I mean, in that one live image here, it looked like it was kind of dark. So this may have been from earlier. I guess they may be playing, uh, replaying the footage from earlier, maybe like 4 or 5 in the morning there in Kiev. So um, Germany, this is a, a glaring violation. Oh, okay. NATO chief condemns Russian reckless attack on Ukraine. So this is from Odessa. And okay, so we'll just kind of see what's all breaking here. Uh, Putin announces military ops in Ukraine. Okay, we kind of got that. And um, so, yeah, it's 7.27 a.m. So it's a uh, seven-hour difference between uh, here in the East Coast and there in Kiev. And uh, I guess we'll just see some special council meetings and so forth that are going to probably be happening here. And let's turn this on for a second. To relinquish responsibilities of the president of the Security Council. Pass these responsibilities on to a legitimate member of the Security Council. A member that is respectful of the charter. Okay, not sure what's going on there. I don't know if someone's... Uh resigning their position or he's going through some sort of protocol i don't really know it looks like uh, we're getting the weather there in um france and let's see what's breaking here i don't see right, let's go to the next news story the latest ukrainian airspace closed to civilian flights washington airspace over all ukraine has been shut down to civilian air traffic According to a notice posted to air crews early Thursday, a commercial flight tracking website shows that an Israeli LAI Boeing 787 from Tel Aviv to Toronto turned abruptly out of Ukrainian airspace before detouring over Romania, Hungary, Slovakia, and Poland. So it looks like they're already diverting aircraft. Now, I would not anticipate that any of these uh, aircraft or, or others – or, or the military will go after any civilian aircraft. Uh, of course, they have latest technology and capabilities, radar detection and all that. So they're going to be able to easily distinguish uh, a military aircraft from a passenger aircraft. And I don't anticipate that Russia is going to just uh, randangle anything that flies around over there. They will be alert to this. Now, remember, it's important, as we talked about the other day, that Russia has had eight years to prepare for this. So this isn't anything that, that they have not attempted to um, prepare that for. Let's see what we got here. As you know, Russian President Vladimir Putin called for military operation in Ukraine. There have been reports of explosions in Kiev and Kharkiv. As per Russian Defense Minister, Ukraine's air defenses are being disabled and Ukraine has closed its airspace. How do you assess these actions? Well, I mean, they are following a certain methodology here that... that Okay, so essentially what's happening is that Russia is going after, of course, any uh, missile batteries or any sort of uh, ability for the Ukrainians to shoot down their own jets. This is very standard operating procedures, very similar to what we saw in the Middle East, but we're talking about a very sophisticated country of Ukraine and not a third world country like Iraq or Iran. For Well, Iran, I guess, where Iraq, for example, or, or any of the – or Afghanistan – so now we're talking about a very sophisticated country, which is the Ukraine. So the, this is uh, not just a, just an ordinary third world country. Uh, these are individuals that can prepare themselves for this type of activity. And, of course, they are a small country, probably, uh, as we saw earlier when they were showing, like, the different uh, ratios of weapons and weaponry, weaponry and uh, armaments and things like that. Of course, uh, they're going to be able to have uh, more than – or they're going to have much more than Ukraine because Russia is a giant country but also a huge military. Explosions heard in uh, Mariupol, uh, Mariupol, eastern Ukraine. So I don't know if this is uh, – I don't think any of the NATO chiefs or these other areas – I don't know if that's the EU that, that was uh, there or not. I'm not really sure. Explosions in Ukraine's Black Sea port in Odessa. So – 
it looks like there's just a full-scale invasion. I mean, I, I say that not sarcastically uh, or anything, but apparently uh, Russia is full on with this. And we'll just have to keep a continuing eye on what's going on. I wanted to break this news to you now. And, of course, I will continue to keep an eye on all of this as it continues to unfold. Uh, and so it looks like Russia has gone ahead and gone into the Ukraine. And we'll just have to see how the world and the United States and other countries respond. I'd welcome your guys' thoughts and comments down in the comments section below. Thank you to all of you guys on Rumble, Odyssey, and and uh, BitChute who have been following me here. All of you, of course, here on YouTube. And appearing there on the screen, that's going to be the uh, channel icon for you guys to click on to subscribe and uh, get notifications if you want to be notified when uh, I produce videos like in the middle of the night when you'd probably be asleep and may not want to get a notification. But nonetheless, guys, that's what I have for you now as of 12.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7.32 a.m. in Kiev on February the 24th. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.